<laughs> okay, so the last thing is you were supposed to add up the squares for this um, and um, see what see what it was. And, and I just want to give you a little hint here. If you if you ever end up getting stuck on a problem like this, like you were kind of stuck on this this morning and weren't sure what to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the answers are going to be real helpful in letting you know um, what the what the possible solution is. So I'm adding up three consecutive numbers. So I'm adding up the sorry the squares of three consecutive numbers. So the mm -hmm. average of that should look kind of like the middle square, right? So if I divide these by three, so 49 divided by three is going to be around 16. Yep. 77 divided by 3 is going to be around 25. 110 divided by 3 is going to be 37. around 37. 149 divided by 3 is going to be around 50. And 194 divided by 3 is, let's see, 180 is 60 plus 15, so it's around 65. I mean, the middle square here was 25, I think. Yeah, so. Well, all right, you can try it. The only thing I, so, the, the flame sensor, that senses the flame that allows the gas valve to open. Got just a over the okay, sorry about that. So we were, we were here, since these, this would be the middle square, so this would be 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6. Looks like this would be 5, 6, 7. Mm-hmm. Here. 6, 7, 8? Around, around 7, yeah, 6, 7, 8. And here would be around 7, 8, 9. Right? So now, now you can just go through and check. Like, is the product of three, four, five, eight times the sum? Mm -hmm. Actually, you can check that easily. How do you know the product's not eight times There's the no sum? There's no eight in here? There's no eight. Could the product here be yes. eight times the sum? Good, because I got at least I have a four and a two. And then right. can't be there. Can't be here, can't be here. Could be here. Yeah. Could be here. So we're down to three now, and now we just check the sum's 15, the product's 120, and that works. Here the sum is, let's see, um, 20, 21, I think. Um, 14 plus 7, so the sum is 21. 8 times 21, and the product is 8 times 7 times 6. Nope. Nope. And then that probably means that one's not going to yeah. work either. So you can, well, once you find the one that works, you're done. But that's another way you could think about this is, hey, what does my middle square look like? And those, that's what it looks like. All right? Good job, huh?